Hi, welcome back. We are going to continue working today on our new long A sound. So remember when we learned something new last, we started A consonant E says A as in the word game. G, A, M, mm, and that E is silent. We have our A consonant E says A. So we are going to practice reading that today. So remember our short A sound says A, ah. our long A sound says A. So we are going to listen very carefully today for those sounds. You're going to listen to see if our words say A, ah, short A, or A, long A. So let's practice reading some of these words first. Clam, k l a m, long a or short a, short a. Blab, b l a b, long a or short a. That is a short a. It is saying ads, making it sound. Smash, s m a sh, short a. Let's see. Then we'll go through. Let's try this one. Skate, s k a t, and I know this is a because I see a. Consonant E says A. My E is going to be silent. Snap. Snag. Spade. Long A or short A? Long A because I see A. Consonant E says a sp a d spade mash it in the pot where is our word with the a ah sound mash mash has the a ah sound in it Gate, long A, A consonant E says A. Slam. The flag will flap in the wind. Where are our words that have the a ah, sound, short A. Flag and flap have the A ah, sound, short A. Wake up or you will be late. Where are our two words that have the long A? Wake and Late. Wake is w a k. That a is saying its name because I see a consonant e says a. Late. L a t. A consonant e says a. Tape. Because a consonant e says a. If I take that e off, now it has the short a t a p tap tape that a changes from a to a slap plan glass Slab, 
swag. Cake. A snake does not shave. Where are our long A words in there? Snake and shave. You might even say this A by itself can say A. We say A snake. But here I have A consonant E says A. A consonant E says A in snake and shave. Safe. The man is on the path. Did you hear the long A or the short A sound in this sentence? Short A. We heard short A in man and path. Both of those said ah. The vein has a flake on it. Long A in vein, long A in flake. Flame. If we take the E off, it says flam. Put the E on, it says flame. Class. Snake. Vein. Blaze. Quake. Plain. Take the E off. It is plan. I have a plan to ride on a plane. Ape. Maze. Nice job. Let's practice writing some of these. So get your paper and pencil ready while I share my whiteboard with you. And here's what we're going to do. You are going to divide your paper into two columns. We are going to have short A, Works with the short A sound and long A with the A consonant E. So get your paper set up, short A on the left, long A on the right. And we are going to go through and sort our words. So we're going to write them in the correct column. So our first word is glad. I am glad you are here. So remember to repeat that word, sound it out. G -o -a -d. What sound is your A making? G -o -a -d. Long or short? It is long, short. So let's go ahead. G -o -a -d. Put it in my short column, G-L-A-D. Let's try glade, glade. Sound it out, listen for that vowel sound. G-O-A-D. Where are you writing? Long A, we hear our A saying A, g o a my A says A, so I'm going to put the E on the end. And we see if there's no E, it says glad. Number three, flake, flake. Remember to repeat the word, sound it out, spell it as you write it. I hear A. A is going in my long column. O A K. 
and I hear my A saying its name, so I'm going to put the E on the end. Next one, gap, gap. Listen carefully to your vowel sound. G, A, P. Where did you write it? Short A. G, A, P. On our short A. G, A, P. Let's try hash. Hash. Listen to your vowel sound. I hear. Ah, ah, that goes with short A. Ah, shh, digraph, S -H, -S, -S, S H A S H. Let's try gape, gape. If you gape at something, you're looking at it in shock. Your jaw might be hanging open. Gape. I hear g a p. So we are going to put that in our long column. G a p. My e on the end because my a says its name. I see if I do not have the e, it says gap. When I do have the e, it says gape. Next one, late, late. Do not be late. I hear late. Late, that's going to go in our long column. Late. My e, A is saying its name, so I need an E on the end. Let's try fast. Fast. I hear fast. Ah. That makes the short A sound. Ast. Notice. I sound it out as I write it. Fast, F-A-S-T. Let's do one more, let's do name, name. I hear M-A-M. -m. I hear my A saying A. So I'm going to write it in my long A column. M -a Mm. My A says its name, so I'm putting the E on the end. Let's go through and read these words. We have in our short A column, glad, gap, hash, fast. All of those, the A says, ah. In our long A column, Let's read them. We have glade, flake, gape, late, name. All of those, the A says A. It is long. And all of those use the A consonant E pattern. Nice job on reading and writing those words today. Now, I have our story for us, so let me share this with you. This is a name for a pup. So go ahead and read that to yourselves. Pause your video so you can take your time, read your way through it. Read it a second time to see if it goes a bit more smoothly. about what do we know about this pup? 
Would you like a pup like this one? Why or why not? And let's go way back to one of our first stories. It's always good to go back and reread because we know every time we read something, we get better at it. Our brain is remembering those words. What do we know about Stan in this passage? What is the setting of this passage? Remember, setting tells us where and when the story is taking place. So where is Stan? When is this happening? Take your time to read that. Thank you for working with me today and working especially on our A consonant E pattern, making the long A sound. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.